This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. From WFAA.com in Dallas, the 15-year-old Dallas girl who was mistakenly deported to Columbia is finally back at home. Jacadrian Turner spent her first full day with family members since 2010, Saturday, at an undisclosed location. The missing teenage runaway was mistakenly deported. Jacadrian's family said she ran away from her Oak Cliff home in November 2010 after her parents divorced and her grandfather died. Her grandmother recently discovered the teen was in Colombia after searching tirelessly on the Internet. Authorities deported Jacadrian May 2010 after she was arrested for shoplifting in Houston. U.S. officials said Jacadrian gave police a fake name and reportedly claimed during lengthy interviews that she was a 21-year-old woman from Colombia. Once deported, Jacadrian Turner was given Colombian citizenship and enrolled in the country's Welcome Home program. She was provided with shelter, psychological assistance, and a job at a call center, according to statements from the Colombian Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The National Weather Service says Texas set their record in 2011 as the driest ever and the second hottest. Last year, Texas suffered the worst single-year drought, its largest agricultural losses, and the hottest summer in U.S. history. Texas averaged 86.8 degrees over the summer months, beating out Oklahoma's 85.2 degrees in 1934. The average 2011 rainfall was 14.8 inches, the lowest it's been since 1917's average of 14.9 inches. The Associated Press reports from Brownsville, with friends and family still demanding justice for a Texas 8th grader shot by police after he pointed a pellet gun at them, a neighborhood priest struck a different tone Saturday, urging teens at the funeral to learn from the experience and get out of trouble. The Reverend George Gomez spoke in English and Spanish to an estimated 500 people who packed the Brownsville church for the funeral of 15-year-old Jamie Gonzalez. Police say Gonzalez was shot twice in the torso Wednesday morning after refusing officers' repeated requests to drop what was later identified as a pellet gun. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News.